Hello, today's Christmas movie is the 1964 science fiction comedy Santa Claus Conquers the Martians, which I've heard described as one of the worst movies ever made. Now that is a big call. So let's have a look and see if it lives up to the hype. Well, that song's pretty annoying. <laughs> it's annoying and it's long. It's that singing style which is just children shouting. The titles certainly look inexpensive. Maybe they saved that money and spent it on the movie. Where at the moment, the temperature is 91 degrees below. Nice mobiles. And now KID TV by a Telstar. Andy Henderson at the North Pole. And you stand Pole. here dawdling, talking to this visitor. Mr. Anderson, this is Mrs. Claus. Uh, we're dear, we're on television. Did you say we're on television? Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh, why didn't you tell me? Oh, they don't seem to have man. noticed there's a camera crew in their workshop. Hello there. Hello. Oh, look, Drapo, an egg chair. Good for nothing. Where are That's you? one of my favorite chairs. I'm loving the Martian's interior design choices, which are kind of more interesting than the film itself. Stand up. <laughs> no wonder they don't want to go to bed if their bed is just a table. They're behaving strangely. They appear to be troubled. They don't care to sleep. I had to use the sleep spray on them again. I mentioned this to my council chiefs today, and I learned it's the same with children all around the planet. You seem sleep system. spray on your children. Something is happening to the children. <laughs> so what's the deal with their helmets? They've got some kind of mechanical equipment on them, but what do they actually do? There's a visor, but they don't look through it. Oh, Martian Mustache Man. We'll find out when Timar arrives. We are probably Martian going Beard to Man. The advice of you called me Kimar. We need oh, your advice, Chochim. Oh, yes. I'm getting strong Dr. Zayas vibes. This is early December. We I have know. no children on Mars. They have children's bodies, but with adult minds. What film is this guy acting in? They do not have a childhood. <laughs> I've seen this coming for centuries. They are born. Our electronic teaching machines are attached to their brains while they are in their cradles. Information is fed into their minds in a constant stream. And by the so time the they can walk, they are adults. They've never played They've never learned to have fun. And now... Yeah, it's the internet. Now they are rebelling to have fun. We Could he draw this out anymore? On Mars. I tell you, it was a foolish idea to seek advice from that old man. This is a serious matter, Voldar. And desperate problems require desperate deeds. Earth has had Santa Claus long enough. I feel a desperate sense of tomorrow. sympathy for it. these actors. Our children are fine the My way decision. they are. You can sense the pain. Tonight. One, bring them. Go on. This guy's dead eyes. I bet each and every one of them had high hopes for their career and then one day they find themselves on the set of Santa Claus Conquers the Martians. And that would have to be a painful day. I love how on these alien planets there's like one orbit. woman. If wow. one. Portside rockets, number one. So that's what the Earth people call a city, eh? How oh, primitive. Look at all those <laughs> buildings above ground. Nice stock footage there. More stock footage. 
when you can pad out your low budget movie with some stock footage. Misfunctioning of radar shield. Bring that. Check the radar box. I love how the radar Martians are so sophisticated, yet they still haven't managed to be able to make a unitard that fits. What are you doing, Mr. Trouble over a fat little man in a red suit. Here is another UFO bulletin. The Defense Department. I do like the mustache Martian energy. I do like the surly Martian as well. More stock footage. It is a welcome relief from the regular film. I've got to be honest, at this point, I would rather watch an hour and a half of stock footage of um, jets being scrambled than this movie. Billy? Is that you carpet the on the ground? I don't know. Nobody's ever seen it. I see a Martian. Why are you they sleeping know? outside if it's winter? Come on, let's go. What are those funny things sticking out of your head? Those are our antenna. Are you a television set? <laughs> stupid question. Yeah, kid, I want to know. Is this what you want to do to our children on Mars? It's not a stupid question. You've got machinery like on your head. I want to know what it does. Let What's me go. Name, what are you saying? Leave them alone, Volda. What? And leave them here to inform the authorities? He's right, Kimar. We better take them along with us to the North Pole. You just kill them. Very well. Come along. What is the use of bringing ray guns if you're not going to kill anybody? The more stock more. footage they can fit into this film, the happier I will be. You stay aboard and guard those children. They must not leave the ship now. Now or ever. What do you mean, Volga? <laughs> if we take them with us to Mars, Santa's disappearance will remain a mystery. No one on Earth will ever know that Santa Claus was kidnapped by Martians. Perhaps you're right. I think this sure, moustache Martian should be in charge. Understand? Yes, sir, I understand. I'll, I'll keep an eye. I think if he was, there'd be a lot more killings and the film would probably be a lot more entertaining. I'm secretly hoping there's going to be a mutiny on the ship and that the moustache Martian is going to take over and it's going to get violent. <laughs> That's the only scenario that I think can redeem this movie. If it turned into a Mars attack style bloodbath, I think that would be a lot more enjoyable. And the comedy relief Martian needs to be the first one to be killed. And what happened to that rule about, you know, Chekhov's gun? If you show a gun in the first act, it's got to be used by the third act. I want these weapons to be used. <laughs> I want bloodshed. Torg, come out of the It's got to be a robot, ship. I guess. Torg, come out oh, of the spaceship. It's Volgar. He's the mean one. The one who doesn't like us. He's the good one, you mean. Polar bear? Could easily get in there. He's not trying. No wonder polar bears are going extinct. This is how they hunt. Don't move, Betty. I'll go take a look. That was just lazy. Come on. When the kid stick his head, <laughs> when the kid sticks his head out, the polar bear could just rip it off. What is it? It's a murdering robot. I hope he has a death ray like a Dalek. Don't worry, Tog. Now destroy them. Crush them. Crush them, Tog. Do as I say. Yeah, crush them. Oh, I knew you'd try something like Mustache this. Mustache Martian is the star me. of this movie as far as I'm concerned. Unleash the death ray in the workshop. Oh, baseball bats! It's on! You can't come in here. No one's allowed. Where? I know Where that actor. No, 
You're... You can't take him now. It's too near Christmas. Quiet, you. But... Death Ray! Oh. Freezing, Ray. You, That's Claus, useless. Come along quiet, harmless. It'll wear off in a short while. Oh. Oh, why didn't you say so oh, in the first place? Oh. Now you come with... I never scoff at lazy people. Standing around like statues. There's work to be done. Let's get to it. That serves oh, women right for talking so much. Oh, Mrs. Claus is going to be very angry about this. You know, my dear, I can't recall a time when you were so silent for so long. Let's go, old man. Women with their talking. <laughs> so they've left them there with the door off. They could actually all freeze to death. And Mr. Just Santa Claus right. has positively... We are going to forget about the testing and go after those Martian monkeys. Isn't that risky? Of course it is risky. But Martian every one monkeys? of our astronauts is, is begging racist? for the chance to go after the Martians. It actually does have a lot of good stock footage of rocket launches and jets. And men sitting in control panels. I'm sure we've seen some of this stock footage on I Dream of Genie. <laughs> <How's our captain? laughs> I love how the Martians haven't made their own doorways tall enough to accommodate their antenna. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. Weak. That old man is a menace. Jesus I'm a little bit in love with this guy. We told them where to find you. Oh, He's the only oh, person in this film I can relate to. Boy. Is it possible Earth has a secret device that can penetrate our radar shield? They have a secret device. And his name is Billy Foster. I warned you that these earthlings are dangerous. Should have killed the kids. We allow them. Well, I won't they should have listened to Mustache Martian. Please? Why, it must be tiresome cooped up in this little room. Say, how would you like to see the rest of the ship? How would you like to go out oh, the airlock into space? Now, that's not true. Bonga, Why, Santa we'd love to take the grand tour. Oh, come on, Mustache Martian's got to let them out the airlock. <laughs> into the void of space. Is he going to do it? <laughs> I would love it if he did that. This room is called. Sarah. That's right. Sure. This is I was right. When you're ready to go out in space, it's airtight. Yeah. You put on your spacesuit and go <laughs> out the door. Seconds, that door opens. <laughs> Come on, you got to do it. Santa, that clock stopped. Sixty seconds. That must be the Good work. It's Bulldog! He's going to own the space door! <laughs> I love this guy! <laughs> I want to see a shot of the kids Two. drifting in space. What? Lifelessly. Who's in the airlock? No one. Now. What? What's going on, Bulldog? Chief! Space Oh! Is so terrible. The whole movie has needed some violence, and when we get it, it's just terrible. You're all right. I thought you would. This is like a reverse version of the Borg from Star Trek, where the Borg assimilate, you know, every other species to their ways but in this it's the human ways that are assimilating the martians from the martian point of view this would be like a borg invasion are you alone filthy 
Only the moustache Martian can save the other Martians now from this Santa Claus cult that's no destroying the Martian culture. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Santa Claus. We hope you'll make the children on Mars very happy. And he's going to have to I'll do it violently. I, I R square to determine that white chair in the background is sensational. I don't know who designed that, but I love it. <laughs> Kids don't seem very excited. Sleep without a sleep spray. Santa, oh God, when will it end? Now you belong to Mars. Ho, ho, Can't they just ho. make their own gifts for their own children? No time to lose. We must go into action. Now we cannot eliminate Santa Claus, but we can discredit him. Make him a laughing stock throughout Mars. Come on, now listen carefully. This workshop closes at 10 o'clock. I can think of a way to discredit him, but it's pretty dark. Those baseball bats have got to get used for violence later. Look at me. Santa Claus, the great toy maker. Pressing buttons. That's automation for you. Technology. Why does he have to even be there? They've got an automated toy factory. All you have to do is press the buttons. They don't need him. What could it be, Moma? They're behaving the way our children used to behave. Can't you tell, Kima? Maybe the fact that you abducted They're them? They're homesick. They miss their parents. Their Kima, friends. you've got to send those children back. Maybe they've got uh, some trauma because they've been abducted by aliens? Impossible. <clears throat> Underneath all this compulsive joking, I get the feeling that this character oh. would be wearing someone's now skin. I'm in Santa private, Claus? if he could. Shit, all the light. Come on, Mustache Martian. Oh, look at that wallpaper. That's very cool. I want Mustache Martian to get his own movie where he does all the killing he wants to. I feel like he's in the wrong movie. Call your father. 11 minutes to go. Make it end. Yes, Beaumont. Surprised to see us. You're under arrest, Fuldar. Fire extinguisher. I guess that's going to get used to spray someone in the face. Stop playing with toys. Eight minutes to go. Once you hit that nuclear curtain, there won't even be a whisker left. I die a little bit inside every time I hear someone say nuclear. Stand trial before the council. I don't think you'll be causing any more trouble. Ooh, nice one. Oh yeah. Yes. This is what we want. You won't escape me. You're Kill him. Goldar, why don't you uh, relax? You're going to relax permanently. <laughs> This is not the bloodbath I was hoping for. Oof. He could just walk out the door. Couldn't he? He could just walk out the door and kick that kid out of the way. Ugh. And as it was that the Martian culture died forever Goodbye, Billy. Goodbye. <laughs> to be replaced Goodbye, by Billy, Earth Billy. culture. Yay! Shall we get going? Yay! Goodbye, dear friends. Well, at least it's over. Well, I don't know what to say about Santa Claus Conquers the Martians. <laughs> Is it the worst film ever made? I don't think so. It's just boring. <laughs> Would it be entertaining if you are a little kid? Maybe. I don't know. But the script is pretty poor. The acting is pretty poor. 
the one redeeming thing about it is it does have a couple of nice pieces of mid-century modern design in it like the ball chair and the stock footage is really interesting really the only thing I liked about it was the moustache Martian with the surly attitude who wanted to kill people and I think really he should have been able to do what he wanted because that would have made it such a much more interesting film. That is the film I wish they'd made instead of this film. That's the film I want to see. Is this a film about a culture losing its cultural identity when it's overtaken by the uh, consumerist culture of another planet? Yes. <laughs> is it a kind of reverse Borg story? Yes. I would sort of like to see this film retold from the uh, point of view of one of the Martians who isn't into Christmas, seeing the Christmas fever sweeping through his culture. As far as Christmas movies go, I think you can do a lot better than this one. Is it so bad it's good? Not really, it's just bad. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'd like to wish you a Merry Christmas. I'll see you next time. Bye.